Good Lord. They act like that 20% was billions of dollars. I am like flabbergasted. It was their money. Literally, OnlyFans wouldn't have been there without them bringing subscribers. OnlyFans were making money off their backs. Like, seriously. This is the quintessential reason why capitalism is immoral. Because... So, um, I'm going to say this, all right? For those of you guys who don't know, I'm a big proponent of sex work is real work. Be it from the people that's just showing nudes online, dancers when they were actually um, in strip clubs. I, I actually used to go to strip clubs. I, I like strip clubs. Um, I hate the, some of the exploitative practices that you'll do, but sex work is real work. Just because somebody actually shows off their body or performs sex acts for money is not demeaning whatsoever for who they are as a person. I like sex. If I can get paid for sex, I would. If I thought that I can actually perform in that, that realm, I would. And for everybody who actually can make a living off of that, cool beans. See it as your art. I know I see my art as my art and you know, it's an expression of themselves. And so anybody, especially these motherfucker in celebrant people who celebrate stupid shit are now celebrating what's going on with OnlyFans. Now, if you've actually watched this channel within the last month or so, you know, I did a video on It's a Gundam and how he was so glad that a creator on Twitch had been um, demonetized. Well, he's made a return to the channel today because this motherfucker is so happy. Well, let's let him tell it. Okay, dude. Hello, here's part two of the OnlyFans drama, because more stuff has unfolded and more information has been sent to me. But first, let's look at the machination. Like, does he think he's cool by his Joker persona? Like, I, like, I, I, I want to tell stupid fucks like this. Um, the Joker was seeing women. He's had not just one Harley Quinn girlfriend, but he kind of had another one and he kind of had, you know, punchline. The Joker was getting snatched. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Let's go. ...of some of the OnlyFans content creators. Because uh, a lot of them aren't in touch with reality. And that's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. People completely out of touch with reality. I get serious boners from these sort of things. Because it reminds me I'm not that crazy. OnlyFans came out... Wait, 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 wait. He said that the OnlyFans creators aren't in touch with reality. Why? Because they were making websites, they were on a website that were making them money for, you know, sex work. Like, and he attributes that to how he's not crazy. Uh, okay. Citation needed. Out today with a tweet that literally upset the entire OnlyFans community. These people were foaming at the mouth and ringing in a way you'd never believe possible. High enough for dolphins to hear. Dear sex workers, the OnlyFans community would not be where it is today without you. The policy change was necessary to secure backing and payment services to support you. We are working around the clock to come up with solutions. Ralph, that was a lie. So, if you don't know, there have been some confusion about what's going on with OnlyFans. Now, the news story broke probably about a few days ago where they're trying to change explicit content um, from the website due to, to falling lines from what OnlyFans said to pass on a buck to MasterCard. And MasterCard literally said, no, nah, we didn't tell them that. It, it's like, no, we, don't, we didn't explicitly tell them that. And 
so it's a debate going of was it implied was it was it like yeah we're not telling you to do that was it that only fans are trying to get bought behind the scenes is only fans pulling a tumbler like yeah of course and this motherfucker is celebrating people who through a pandemic have been able to make a living for themselves and some people have risen to the top five ten percent of only fans or even one percent why is that a problem for this fucker wait let, let's go let's go this is bullshit but that's pretty much what all of these social media platforms are they write the rules and we're at their mercy but the best part of this is the replies and the salt simply because some of the people who are angry are not in touch with reality honest to god let's take a look shall we I hope to hear a solution soon, otherwise I think it's only fair to give all the sex workers their 20% back as severance pay. Wait, why is that such a fucking it? Okay, okay. You're, I, I, okay, maybe he gives an explanation of why that's a problem. Severance pay, uh, you didn't work for them. You're an independent contractor, dear. I'm pretty sure if you read the fine- Wait, this is the same motherfucker who literally was crying in his last video about being not monetized by YouTube as much. This is that same motherfucker that has videos talking about how, oh, they took my monetization, oh, they're shadow banning me, I can't make the money that I made before. This is that same motherfucker? But he's making fun of somebody else who literally is using this for income to make it through a pandemic? Okay, okay. Print, it was there. Two, 20%. Let's, the 20% gate. Good God almighty. Here we go with this shit again. Where these people consider the 20% to be an egregious and a gross misconduct. Frankly, you're getting off like a bandit with 20%. You two gets 45 out of me. And you're like, ah! 20 and there we go. There we go. Wow, okay. Okay. Understand? This chick probably makes more in a month than I do in a year, and she's still squealing about the 20%. You're not getting it. What part of they have to pay for the business to run don't these people understand? If you took time out of your day to get the cocaine out of your nose and the dick out of your ass and the drunken haze you're under that you're the greatest content creator to ever exist. Wait, why does he assume that because people are doing sex work, they're drug addicts? Should I assume that because he's making fun of women that are doing sex work that he doesn't get any sex? Well, that's that may have some evidence i don't know I I, I I don't i don't know but let's continue you understand that someone has to pay for the infrastructure servers server room people demand the service customer service you know how much it costs for somebody to come up with a goddamn phone app that works well i bet you don't on top of that they have to pay themselves because a business has to be profitable and at the end of the day only fans was always about profit and they're looking at their long run it can't sustain itself like this it's sustained itself a lot. Let's let's look at this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's pull it up. OnlyFans value. Up oh, here we go. I don't want that up there. If it's seeking the value uh, evaluation at more than a billion dollars, something tells me that porn on the internet, shocking enough, shocking enough, always makes money. I don't know. I it's just a hunch based on the data that I've actually seen. But something tells me that porn on the internet, even when you give it away for free, kind of makes money. I, 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 I just, I don't know. Maybe you guys, may, maybe you guys may know it's different. Wow. Like, for real, they can, yeah, of course, they can make money off of dodging taxes. Now, granted, they're in the UK, which actually allows for them to 
not the same leeway that they have in the United States, but they're making money. They may not be making all the money, which all corporations try to do, but they're making money. But let's continue. But they don't get that. They're sitting there thinking like that 20% is billions of dollars. Literally OnlyFans made $2 billion last year and it paid out the money to the content creators. They got Wait, he literally has, he literally has the, the fight site right here. They made $2 billion. $2 billion. For a site making two billion dollars, and they made four hundred million in revenue. That and just to let you know, that's profit. They made four hundred million dollars in profit. But let's go. You got four hundred million out of the twenty, the two billion. Oh, God damn! I know this, and I don't even work for OnlyFans, and I'm not a content creator there. Tyler Saint, probably another porn star. I'm just going to say he is because I got black for not knowing some other chick was a porn star last time. This has happened a few times, actually. Do you know she's a porn star? No, I didn't know. How about sharing a little of that profit you made off of all of us? Oh, so that's sex workers abbreviated. To show you're serious. Okay, so the 400 million they got out of 2 billion, they should give back to you guys. Then what? Who's going to pay their workers to keep your content going? Most of their systems are automated, you dumb fuck. Just like YouTube. Most of the systems are automated. That's why we have a fucking issue whenever you have a video that gets copyright claim. Whenever you have a video that actually makes a, 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 a fucking community guidelines or a copyright strike. What? Yeah, you can do service on the cheap. Most of the costs associated with running the service are the power requirements. We know this shit, but let, let's continue. Dang. Who's gonna pay the people who sit there and have to monitor this Quack. shit and make sure all the really nutty Quack. shit doesn't get out there? Ah, pay them in sex videos. <laughs> See, and this is what I'm talking about. These fuckers don't do research. Literally, that's part of the thing that MasterCard is requiring. Uh, update a live update a live uh, excuse me a live monitoring and a monitoring of all the content that goes up. That's one of the things that fucked up Pornhub because what happens is they had some CP on there. They had some things that shouldn't be on there, and instead of like trying to get a a, a system in place where it has more live monitoring. They was like, okay, fuck it. Unless you're verified, we're not going to put your shit up. These websites aren't doing the shit, aren't running some big, you know, logistical chain. They're trying to be as cheap as possible, and that's what makes them profitable. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Twitch. But let's continue. <laughs> hey, John. Uh... We're going to give the sex workers their money back so you're not getting any Christmas bonus money. But you can have any content you really like to take home with you to feed your children. <laughs> it's ironic that he's making this joke. But he wants, he's happy that OnlyFans is getting rid of sexual content. Where a lot of people are using it to feed their children. Like, I, like does he not see this? Oh, Okay, but let's continue. Is your daughter like butt bongo fiesta? I hope she does, because it's what she's getting for Christmas instead of Barbie. 20% loss on our backs made you into a gold. No, Christmas bonuses don't happen in 2020 and 21, or not even in 2020. Shit, not even in 2015. Mm -hmm. Shit, let's go. Well, brand, share the love, and we might think you're serious. Otherwise, we're taking our subscribers elsewhere. Elsewhere, the process has begun. Well, there's the door. You know where it is, Tyler? You know what's funny? It's not like we don't have evidence of this shit. 
like we don't have Tumblr. We literally have Tumblr and what happened with Tumblr. And it's not like we don't have evidence of this shit happening in the porn industry. Look what happened to Pornhub. Wow. Okay, let, let's go. Good Lord. They act like that 20% was billions of dollars. I am like flabbergasted. It was their money. Literally, OnlyFans wouldn't have been there without them bringing subscribers. OnlyFans were making money off their backs. Like, seriously. This is the quintessential reason why capitalism is immoral. Because the only means of production that these motherfuckers in OnlyFans were actually doing was actually the network hardware. But the people were literally putting their bodies online in order to make the profits. And yeah, it's a little bit more equitable because OnlyFans is getting only 20%, but they're so willing to throw their independent contractors out on the fucking street in order to get more funding instead of staying with the model that they have now. But I guess you're right. I guess you're right. They should just shit, sit, sit up, ah, sit down and shut up and take it. Fucking libertarians. Let, let's go. Let's, oh, God, let's go. Here we go with this goddamn meme again. Give us our 20% back. And I wish you all sex workers a very money. Poor bugs. Look what they reduced them to. Being a sh <laughs> meme for sex workers. Talk about sh <laughs> You would never, ever think would happen. Go. Uh, okay, let's go. Back go. in time, 15 years, 10 years, hell, five. And go, you know, one day, people who make porn on the internet are going to use Bugs Bunny as a beacon of hope. <laughs> oh, God. Vivid Vodka on sale, 35% off. That's what I'm talking about. Help me, God, this is my career. The billions you've made from 20% gorge would be more support than this pandering tweet. How in God's green earth did 20% of 2 billion become a billion? <laughs> How could you, you know, I'm, I spell bad. I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but we know that, but these are just, oh my God. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Christ all money. I Christ all money. Christ almighty. I know 20% of $2 billion is not a billion dollars, <laughs> bro. Like I want to have some support for sex workers, honestly, because I feel porn stars that actually have to go to locations have like, you know, drug test and STD test and do makeup and have lighting and sound checks and all the other stuff. I believe that's a form of where it's acting, you know, just for people who couldn't make it to be real actors. Not being Mandy, just saying. But really, this is absolutely wild. Wait, so the only porn that he's interested in consuming is big budget produced motherfucking porn where the actresses or actors don't get a lion's share like they do on OnlyFans? So in other words, still go suck corporate dick. Uh, you know what I mean. Like, the fuck? Like, okay, okay, let, let's go. For some reason, the sex workers think, you know, if they were making billions of dollars, they wouldn't be doing <laughs> like this. Yes, OnlyFans makes billions, but 20% out of a billion dollars isn't a billion. 20% out of two billion isn't a billion. Give us a refund and we will call it severance pay. What is with this severance pay? No, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> like, does he think that this shit is funny? Like, this is pissing me off. Like, for real. Again, this is someone in this same video has complained about fucking YouTube taking his money. And these people are mad because what's happening is this company is throwing them away in order to chase investors. If you want to believe what MasterCard is saying that they didn't, uh, they didn't request it. Like I don't get it. Like and only like it, it goes boggles my mind that OnlyFans literally saw what happened to Tumblr. They they literally saw what happened to Pornhub. They saw with them trying to rebet brand and say OnlyFans are where you can go work out and you can follow your favorite trainer and you can, like, they saw that shit. 
and nobody was receptive to it. Do, is, do they think they're going to get rid of porn and actually have advertisers come? Ask Tumblr how that worked out. But let, uh, let's continue. This to find out via the news directly lied to us and left us to scramble with only weeks to prepare. Dude, it's uh, October. It's August now. You've got over a month. I don't know why I'm being triggered by this. I think it bothers me that people have made so much money. <laughs> and it's like... And there's the problem. And that's what it is. That's what it's about. It's the fact that people made so much money that he's so pissed off about. And I am sorry. I am sorry, it's a Gundam. All of this is, all of this is, is the fact that this motherfucker literally is jealous. That's all it is. That's all it is. And you know what? You're right, X. If he thought he can do sex work, um, he can do it. But his problem is, it's because he's not getting the cash that he's so triggered about. But let's let's do a couple more minutes. I don't know if I can actually watch the rest of the shit. They keep thinking that OnlyFans pocketed billions and billions from this stuff. Whenever you don't know who some of these girls are, there's always a guy like James Sharp to remind you. Steve, she's a three-time AVN winner and one of the biggest names in porn today. Not just the trans world, how could you not know, question marks? Well, maybe he's not watching transsexual porn being masturbating. Call me. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm about headed up to here with this level of disgust with this motherfucker. I'm sorry, guys. I tried to watch it. I, I want to thank, um, who, who the fuck gave me this video? Oh, God. I suppose I credit him for this shit, but, um. Wow. I'm looking for it. Um, um, Bruce Smith, he left a comment talking about, um, he, on my last video I edited about It's a Gundam. And yeah, I want to thank him for giving me this, um, this disease, because this is digital disease. But, um, yeah, no, a lot of these people, a lot of these people are just jealous on the fact that they feel that they can't get that attention. They feel like they can't get the the love and admiration that these porn stars are actually getting. And a lot of them are upset basically that women aren't giving them porn for free. Let's just be honest. They feel that they have the right to get porn and attention from women and the fact that they're not, it's a problem and I I, I don't know what else to say. It's jealousy, he said it. It's the fact that these are make, they're making a lot of money and he's not. But you know what you don't have to be jealous about? You can not be jealous about supporting the channel. Either if you're watching on Twitch, please follow and hit that notification of when I go live. Or if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I'm trying to get to the magical number of 600 subscribers on my channel. So yay, please help. <laughs> or how, how the Judge Bush said, yes, please clap. <laughs> anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. The links are down in the description to help me out and help the channel out. And if you're watching live on stream, we have one more video. And um, yeah, and we're cutting the segment here. I want to take the time to say thank you to my current patrons. And you can actually help support my channel for as little as $1 a month. Check out Crimson60620 PS4 Gaming. Thank you.